After Bahatla separated from their originators, Bahurute, they split into two branches. One branch, led by Khalifa, remained in Botswana, while the other branch, led by Tabani, dispersed across Lekwelebebe. Upon their initial settlement in the Mahalisberg region, Bahatla encountered the established Bafu gang of Sibule Lawakwina. They formed an alliance with Bafugeng, and Dabani married the daughter of the Bafugeng king, named Matulare. Matulare, in turn, became the mother of the founders of five prominent nations, the Babedi Empire, the Batlokwa Kingdom, Maholokwe, Maputin, and Basia. These clans are often referred to as the first Basoto as they were the first and earliest to adopt the name. It appears that Matulare was not Tabani's senior wife because after Tabani's departure in search of new conquests, her son Diale yielded to Matlaisani, Tabani's son from another woman. Diale left Mahalisberg, along with all that belonged to him, for the northeast. His brother Khwadi, who was the father of Batlokwa, accompanied him temporarily. The other sons of Matulare also left Mahalisberg at different times and in different directions. Maputing settled near what is now Eswatin, in a mountainous region teeming with Daga, known to them as Puti, which became their emblem. They named themselves Maputing or people of the Puti. They didn't stay there long and migrated southwards to the banks of the Tugela River where they encountered Amashubi, who made fun of the men's attire. Faced with difficulties in coexisting with Amashubi, Maputing moved westward, crossing the Kashamba Mountains and resided along the banks of the Namahadi, Ellen's River near an area now known as Wetzi's Hawk in the Orange Free State for about half a century. When they eventually departed from that vicinity, they journeyed northward beyond the Val River to the area where the present-day town of Hedelberg is situated. There, they encountered the Bafogain, who were dispersed in various small clans throughout the region. Despite Maputing's growth into a numerous and warlike tribe, they held the Bafugeng in high regard, acknowledging them as the ancestral leaders of all the tribes. Maputing consented to coexist with them in a subordinate role. Remarkably, wherever they resided, Bafugeng consistently wielded influence far greater than their numbers or military strength would suggest. This influence can be attributed in part to the ancient lineage of their tribe, but more significantly to their personal astuteness and abilities. Interestingly, they were primarily recognized as advisors and counselors and although, as in this instance, they occasionally received paramount positions as Bafugeng kings, they rarely, if ever, retained these positions due to their mild and possibly indolent character. They were thinkers who, while exerting considerable sway over men of action, seldom engaged in significant actions themselves. Morena Matula of Maputing affectionately known as Matatsepe due to his metalworking skills, married a daughter of Gegezi, the king of Bafoge. Gegezi, content with leisure, gladly delegated the resolution of all matters and disputes to his more energetic son-in-law. He often stated that once a man had been judged by Matatsepe, he seldomly needed further judgment. Oral tradition maintains a significant silence regarding the period when Maputing were under the rule of Moshahudi and Mutswani II, who were the son and grandson of Khwase. 
Nonetheless, it is much to recount about Gegesi, also known as Ratsebe, the son of Mutswani II. Ratsebe was a formidable warrior, earning him the moniker Lehohoreza, meaning the sweeper, and he was regarded as the greatest king of his time. It was said that wherever Ratsebe's army passed, the grass would cease to grow, and during his era, the nation greatly increased in numbers. This growth wasn't solely as a result of natural population increase. Many outsiders and skilled individuals joined Ratsebe, among them an entire clan of Bahlagwana, who, residing nearby, integrated fully with Maputi through intermarriage and other means. One of Ratsebe's uncles, Tswani, undertook a raid on Badaou, which proved costly for him. It's likely that he acted without the king's authorization, and there is no mention of the king supporting his cause. On one occasion, Tswani, who had a considerable following, received a visit from Badaun king, Mopete, accompanied by just two attendants. During their conversation, Mopeta boasted about his own and his people's wealth, sparking Tswani's greed. Tswani, while pretending to escort Mopeta on his way home, captured him and his two attendants, Muganate and Kanyes. And he sent a group to raid Bataung's cattle while their leader was absent. The raid was successful. Even though one of the attendants, Kanyesi, managed to escape and inform Moletzan, the renowned son of Mupete. However, the cattle were taken before a force could be assembled to protect them. Moletzan was not one to leave matters unresolved, and when his father was released after the raid, he informed him of all that had transpired. Moletzan then gathered his entire force and launched a nighttime assault on Zwan. A dreadful slaughter ensued, with Badaung wielding their weapons until their arms swelled and they could strike no longer. 570 Maputin were left lifeless on the battlefield, and Muletzani personally slew eight of them. The stolen cattle were recovered, and many more besides. Such a swift and severe lesson, along with a retribution so thorough, is a rarity in the annals of kingship. Another relative of Ratsebe, a cousin named Sikobotlan, behaved reprehensibly toward Maputing and their neighbors. Despite owning numerous cattle, he remained unsatisfied and laid claim to any stray livestock found in his vicinity, promptly slaughtering and consuming them. When the rightful owners came to inquire about their property, they were met with threats and abuse. Such behavior could not be tolerated, leading to Sukobotlani being tried by his uncle Mahafa. He was divested of all his possessions and declared an outlaw. Sukobotlani fled across the Caledon River and aligned himself with Mapeta. The following is a genealogy of Maputing ancestors Morolo, Mohale, Noto, Murara. Mabi, Masilo, Malope, Mohata, Lechabo, Bohopi, Botolo, Dabani, Matibo, Nzime, Soso, Sepoko, Mapani, Molapo, Matula, Padi, Motswani, Hwasi, Motlaudi, Motswani, Ratsebe, Faladzi, Mahatuman, Badi, Faladzi. Seboko Sama Puting Ahwas, Gili Puting La Hwasela Badi Amatula, Wanawa Manko Kosa Nele Mosaudi, Putiasa Zohaga Mesue Agnes, Mutweka Raile Mabinunga Haiba Muparaga Serez Ahut, Mutuamo Halagano Apati Sinket, Hwasu Shela Mufilema Ruma Bonali Siri. Amoneha reasa laba ripa ripa di gote.